What's going on guys, D-Legend here. Today we actually have a Yu-Gi-Oh! video, so we're going to switch it up from our Kingdom Hearts Union Cross content for a bit now. Uh, today is Wednesday, I believe, yet yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, and we have a very special video because our friends at Top Sleeves decided to sponsor this video. So everything that you see here is purchased by Top Sleeves because they just sent me some money and they were like, hey, do an opening and just keep whatever you pull and enjoy the opening. It's just a little bit of appreciation from the from the uh, team at Top Sleeves. So shout out to you, Top Sleeves. Really appreciate you guys. And uh, make sure you guys check out Top Sleeves because they sent me a whole bunch of sleeves recently. And I gave a pack away from my recent 1500 subscriber giveaway. But um, look at that, guys. These are all the colors of the Top Sleeves that they have at the moment. And they all look fantastic with... Um, any card, literally, that you that you um, decide to sleeve up with them. Um, I'm trying to look for the card that I sleeved up last night, but I don't have it on me. But uh, I do have some cards from Legendary Duelists and uh, another Megaton that I opened recently that I did use top sleeves to sleeve up. These are the White Veil sleeves. They look amazing. So make sure you guys check out top sleeves and use my code DLEGEND for 10% off of orders of $20 or more. Um... These sleeves feel amazing. They're so, they're just such clean sleeves. They just frame your cards so well, especially if you're a collector. Um, but obviously if you are a player and an avid Yu-Gi-Oh fan, then definitely check out Top Sleeves as well because they are amazing sleeves, guys. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Without further ado though, let's get opening into these packs. So as you see, we do have three packs of Cyber Dark Impact. These are GX packs and they are extremely hard to find. I hope we pull Cyber Dark Dragon. That would be amazing. But uh, these are retail packs, as you can see. Um, the retail packs will always have a the code. I think it's always, I want to say higher than the hobby packs, because I think the hobby packs came first, technically. Um, so we do have three packs of Cyber Dark Impact. I got these a while ago, but they were not cheap, so I wanted to save them for a special occasion. So I figured um, that we would keep them for a video that... Um, matched its significance so uh well we have three packs of those we actually we also have our gold sarcophagus tin here and our jade and yuki 2018 megaton this was actually one of the first tins that i opened when i got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, and uh the, like part of the reason why i got back into Yu-Gi-Oh was because i saw jade and yuki on the cover of this 2018 megaton so without further ado let's get cracking into these um we'll start with the 2018 megaton because i don't know if there's anything crazy good left to pull in this to be honest with you um but yeah we'll see how how this goes and i really have one of these tins opened from the past so i'll probably keep the promo sealed but really really cool tin let's just leave it up there and then get into the mega packs here so i'll keep these sealed but this is nebula neos as the cover card of the tin and we'll leave that right there. Maybe we'll give that away in the future. We got our three mega tin packs and we'll get into this tin here as well. Um, if I can open it. Oh. I honestly don't remember what's in the 2018 mega at this point in time. It's two years old now. There's been two other mega that were released afterwards. Um, obviously the gold sarcophagus tin and the tin of lost memories that we have right here. So I, they are becoming harder and harder to find. Like I think, like, like I think they did print quite a bit um, of the Megatons, but uh, that doesn't mean that they aren't worth anything. And uh, obviously, as time goes on, they will be worth more and more. But let's get cracking into this. So we have nine packs in total here today, guys. But these are six really fat packs. Uh, let's go into a 2018 Megaton pack first and see what we can pull. I think Firewall's in here, and Boral Load Dragon is in here. Um, would love to pull either of those. I think I did pull a Boral Load in my first Jaden Yuki Megaton uh, back in 2018 when they first came out. So we got Jack Wyvern, Gravity Lash, World Legacy Landmark, Zombina, Goki, Twist Cobra, Fuse Line. I thought it was even, I think evenly matches in this actually, guys. So, no, maybe not. Don't remember, but Fuse Line. Uh, Ultra Guys Prime Banshee, and we have Imduck, the World Chalice Dragon, Speed Roid, 
Samurai Skull, Parthian Shot, uh, Parthian Shot, sorry, Link Belt, Wall Dragon, and Hackworm. So nothing crazy there, but top sleeves. Let's uh, let's turn this opening up a bit, turn it up a notch, and hopefully get some fire here. Okay, we're gonna go into one of our 2020 Omega Tin packs. I was gonna say 2018 for a second there, but. Um, I definitely realize it's not 2018 anymore. We got our Tenyi Spirit Mapura, Gladiator Beast Sag Sagatari, uh, Rising Fire, Dino Wrestler Martial Anga, Chaos Betrayer, Fury of Fire, Overburst Dragon, Infinite Tracks Trencher, Gizmet Yada, the Gleaming Vanguard, unfortunately have one of these already, Spin Turn, Soundline Great Pyro Phoenix, Chain Hole, Evil Eye Confrontation, Unchained Twins Aruha, Infinitrax, Brutal Dozer, Speed Burst Dragon, Salmon Great Transcendence, and Fusion of Fire. So nothing crazy there either. That is all right. We'll leave those there. Uh, let's get into one of our Cyber Dark Impact packs, shall we? Or should we save these for last? Ah, we'll save them for a little later. We'll do one more of each of these first, maybe, and then we'll get into Cyber Dark Impact. As they are very special packs. All right, this is the 2018 Mega Pack. Disciples of the True Draco, Draco Phoenix, FA Whipcrosser, Capacitator Stalker, World Chalice, World Shield, Ancient Gear Golem, Ultimate Pound, Nimble Fever, uh, Pendulum Mucho, Pendulum Paradox as our secret rare, Alter Guys Marionette, World Legacy, World Chalice, and these are the other commons. Interesting to see vanilla cards still to this day, like in the newer formats of Yu-Gi-Oh, because it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just weird to me to uh, to think about. All right, 2020, Tin of Lost Memories. Can we pull Dragoon? If not Dragoon, can we pull Pot of Extravagance or Borolode Savage Dragon? Those are the main cards that I want to pull um, because they look amazing. But let's see what we can do here. Guard Dragon Prom Promenesis. Uh... Jelly Cannon, World Chalice, Scar Dragon, Almaduk, Almarduk, World Legacy, Cliffhanger, Dino Wrestler, Rambrasio, uh, how do you say that? I'm not even going to try The Desperate Doom Eagle, <laughs> uh, Fireball XC Dragon, cool cover card of Dark Neostorm. Uh, we also have Dances with Beasts, World Legacy, Guard Dragon as our secret prismatic rare, Mech Knight, Crusadia, Avramax, very interesting to see Avramax as an ultra rare in this set. Uh, Abound Nations, Prison, Marincess Wave, Tyrant Dino Fusion, XZ uh, Slidofin, Marincess Mandarin, Vessel for the Dragon Cycle, Guard Dragon Garmides, and Return to the Normal. Nothing crazy there yet either, guys, but that's all right. Let's keep going with this opening because this opening is very special. Shout out to you, Top Sleeves, once more. Once we get something cool, we're going to Definitely um, sleeve it up with our white veil sleeves. All right, which pack should we do first, guys? Like, I have no idea, but... All right, let's go with this one, shall we? See what happens in this one. I like to try to keep my packs intact, if possible. The top side was tough, so I'm going to open from the bottom here. But we're going to have to try to be careful, because... If we pull, I know they're, it's a retail pack, so we can only pull um, rare ultimate rares, like just the regular silver letter rare ultimate rares. Um, but even if we pull one of those, they're quite valuable. And also they are very, very cool to, to look at because we don't get ultimate rares a lot these days anymore. Instant Fusion, that's a really good common. So we'll leave that off to the side. Uh, Man Beast of Aries. No way, we got an ultimate rare. Oh my gosh. Okay, Combo Master. So very cool. Like I was saying, ultimate rare. This is just a regular rare, I believe, from the set. It has to be, because it's a retail deck. But we're going to leave these cards off to the side for the time being and use one of our beautiful white veil sleeves to sleeve up Combo Master. But let's just look at them real quick here first. Like, centering is not bad. Just top to bottom is not quite there. Just thicker on the top than the bottom. And the back looks really clean, in all honesty. So really happy with that pull considering you are only guaranteed one or two ultimate rares per box in GX sets, even in the retail format. So really cool there. And 
I have sold some of my Cyberdark Impact Packs in the past, and I don't think anybody that has purchased them for me has um, actually gotten any Ultimate Rares, so um, just letting you guys know, you cannot scale Ultimate Rares because they're way the same as Rares, and I don't even have a scale to begin with, so um, there's that. Probably should have led with that, but really cool Ultimate Rare there, so I'm pretty happy to see that. I guess uh, Top Sleeves is bringing their luck to us today. Let's go into... Should we go into another Cyber Duck and Backpack? Or should we go into one of these? Let's do one of these first. Um, I do have some more Cyber Dark Impact Packs in the near future that I, we will be opening alongside some Rise of Destiny potentially, but we'll see how that goes. Overtext. Uh, Quietus. Co. Coatless? Squibdraw, not the prismatic or the secret rare that you want to see per se. Majesty Maiden, the true Draco caster. Re X. Uh, Flick Clown. And Ling Ling. Nothing crazy, guys. That's alright. We'll leave these here and then we'll go into one of our. No, actually, let's save one of these for later. Let's do one of these, shall we? This one's kind of tough to open. But, um, out of this set, I would love to pull Cyberdark Dragon, like the cover card right here. It's uh, Zane's card, and it is an amazing card. It's an amazing looking fusion card, so I don't think I've ever pulled one as a kid even, so let's see what happens here. But GX has a special place in my heart. Another instant fusion, nice. Um, because GX was like the series that I really watched. Oh, okay, so there you go. Combo Master in its rare form. Um, to match our combo master right here. And I'll show them off in a second here, but I want to go through the rest of the cards because not every day you get to open a GX pack counter cleaner. That's Pot of Greed right there, hey? Eh? Uh, Allure Queen level 3 and Barrier Statue of the Stormwind. So the Barrier Statue cards are actually pretty valuable as well, so pretty cool to see those, and we'll set that aside as well. I don't think we got any other barriers. Oh, we did. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, from this, so far we have two Barrier Statue cards, Barrier Statue of the Torrent, and Stormwinds, and two Instant Fusions, so not bad. Maybe we can get a playset of Instant Fusion from our Cyberdark Impact pack, the last one there. But yeah, as you can see, guys, Combo Master, the Rare, and then the Ultimate Rare, so really cool to see the Ultimate Rare version of this, because I don't think I've ever seen this as a, like, in person so really cool to see. And I guess I'll show you guys my Ultimate Rare collection in the near future, slash just collection in general. Um, I do have quite a few cards that I am really proud of that I pulled as a kid, or else I just purchased somewhat recently or got from like from trades from friends and stuff um, as a kid. So cool to see all these things kind of go up in value, per, like, but also just, I'm not sure how much this is worth. It's probably like four bucks or something like that. Nothing crazy, but just a really cool card to have in hand. And something cool to own. So, Dino Wrestler, Marshall, Ankilio, Ank, Ankilio, Ankilo, Ankilo. Okay, oh my gosh. Uh, we're gonna pass on that. Dino Wrestler, Colislat, um, Basilisk, Familiar of the Evil Eye, Tenny Spirit, Nahada, Tenny Spirit, Ashuna, Fact, Dark Factory of More Production, Marincess, Blue Slug, Witchcrafter, Madame Vare. We got. Sky Striker Ace Kana, so this is the only Sky Striker, the main Sky Striker that didn't get reprinted in the uh, 2019 Megatons, because I don't think, I think this card came out a little later, I don't remember which set it came out in, but Witchcrafter by Street and Witchcrafter Shmieta Shm as our two Ultras, and we got Barricader Borg Blocker as a rare, Time Thief Bezel Ship, Guard Dragon Core Awakening, Witchcrafter Draping, Nebula Dragon, Cato Polypus, Familiar of the Evil Eye, and Salamangrate Violet Chimera. So, really cool cards here to end off our last Megaton pack. And we'll leave all these here. Alright, last pack, guys. What can we do with this last Cyber Dark Impact pack? Let's see. Um, really excited to open this, but yeah, let's 
get into it and hope we pull something good. But honestly, even if we don't, like we really have an ultimate rare out of three packs. So that's not bad ratios at all, considering they're like one in 12 normally. Yeah, let's see what's in this. Is that another instant fusion? Nice. I was like, oh, okay, can we actually pull a place out of instant fusion from three Cyber Dark Impact packs? I guess we can. So that's another instant fusion for the road. Man, Beast of Ares. Oh my gosh. All right, Accumulated Fortune. Barrier Statue of the Inferno. Nice, another one we don't have yet. Cyber Dark Horn. Nice. So we got another rare, I mean, hollow out of this set. And it's actually going to be Cyber Dark Horn as a super rare. So really cool to see that, guys. Not every day you get to see a GX era hollow. And this one looks pretty clean as well. And pretty well centered in all honesty. I'm not going to grade this card specifically, but it's a really cool card to have in my collection as well. I think I have one already from my childhood, but I don't really remember. So I'm going to have to double check. Uh, we'll leave him for there for this sec for a second. Queen's Bodyguard, Corrupt Cell A, Blast Asmodian, and Chain Healing. All right, guys, let's sleeve this up quickly and then we'll recap the video look how nice it looks in these white veil sleeves like it just frames it so well anyways shout out once again to top sleeves for sponsoring this video really appreciate it and uh yeah make sure you guys check them out because they have an assortment of amazing sleeves and amazing colors for your to protect your cards and uh yeah that was an amazing video, guys, because we did pull an ultimate rare, which is not something you get to say every day. But these were some of the other cards that we did pull from our Megatons. Um, if anything interests you, per se, then def definitely let me know in the comments below, because I am definitely willing to sell some of these cards to uh, hopefully help pay for future openings. And uh, speaking of future openings, I have a really cool future opening for you guys coming really soon, and I will show you guys what I mean in just one second after I do a recap here. Um, kind of a sloppy recap, but there you go, guys. We are moving on to this here. Fireball Exceed Dragon. Avermax is a pretty cool card, in all honesty. And we actually ended up getting our playset of Instant Fusion, which is awesome because I think these are at least two or three dollars each. So that's pretty good, like American dollars. And then we did get three barrier statues as well from three packs. So honestly, really good packs. And of course, we ended up getting not just our regular combo master in rare, but we actually got the ultimate rare combo master as well, which is amazing. Thank you for, uh, for the luck, Top Sleeves. Appreciate it. And Cyber Dark Horn. So amazing, amazing cards there. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep going with... Uh, future openings so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for future openings and one of my future openings is going to be a search for the ultimate rare slash ghost rare so it'll be a bunch of random packs from the zexal era and uh what's the other series right after zexal don't remember off the top of my head arc no yeah arc five arc v um so we're gonna do these packs here i think there's 10 in total two three four five six seven eight nine ten yep and then we'll probably add in a few more ultimate rare i mean uh packs from cyber dark impact or rise of destiny because they do contain ultimate rares and we're gonna hope to pull a few more of those but uh aside from that guys what else do i have to tell you that's about it for now but look at this beautiful assortment of packs looking forward to opening all of these make sure you stay tuned to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings and i will catch you all soon peace out guys